Hey there, Electricity Frenzy fans. Welcome back to another electrifying episode. Today, we're diving into a topic that might save you from a potential meltdown, running a 110 volts fan on a 220 volts outlet. Is it a harmless breeze or a recipe for disaster? Let's find out. So, you just bought this snazzy 110 volts fan, and all you've got is a 220 volts outlet. What's the worst that could happen, right? Well, let's break it down. Voltage is like the force behind our electrical appliances. The fan is designed to run on 110 volts, but if you plug it into a 220 volts outlet, you're doubling the force. It's like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole, it's not gonna end well. Now, here's the kicker, the extra voltage can cause the fan's motor to spin faster than it's designed to, generating excessive heat. Think of it like revving your car engine way beyond the recommended RPMs. And here's the big issue. The increased voltage puts the motor at risk of insulation failure. Imagine your fan motor as a delicate balance of heat and insulation. If that balance tips, you could end up with a burnt out motor. Now, I don't want to leave you hanging without a solution. Enter the voltage converter or transformer, a superhero for your electrical devices. It ensures that your fan gets the right voltage without the risk of turning your motor into a crispy critter. So, folks, Running a 110 volts fan on a 220 volts outlet isn't just about a faster spin, it's about protecting that motor from burnout due to insulation failure. Stay safe, use a converter, and keep those fans spinning without the drama. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and ring that notification bell for more electrifying content. Until next time, stay plugged in.